going to be reviewing and getting a good look at the Speedmaster valve covers for a small block Chevrolet. Now normally wouldn't buy anything like this, but the valve covers on this truck, well, they're cracked, they're warped, they're old, they're vintage valve covers from who knows how old, how many engines they've been on, I don't know. But I wanted to keep with the same style, and this is the closest style I could find to that. $76 for this pair of valve covers, which seems to be on the cheaper side now for some polished aluminum valve covers that look like this or more so. What we're going to do, we're going to look at them, get a good look, then I'm actually going to install them, run them for a while, run them for a couple weeks, see if they leak or have any issues during install. Pretty sure they're cast in China. I see flaws and imperfections. I'm going to say this is not the kind of valve covers you want for a high dollar show car, 100 point car show. This would be more for like what I'm putting on a daily driver. Others are people put on a weekend cruiser, show and shine car, something like that. So, first thing that caught my eye is these kind of lines in it from whatever tool they used and you can see right there they're kind of wavy whatever tool and it you can actually feel it's gouged I can see imperfections all through it the lines everywhere I'm not sure if they polish these by hand or machine I'm going to say it's a machine that runs around and does that from the looks of it. And you can kind of see those gouge lines there as well. There's imperfections in the casting. Looks like random tool marks here and there. Not sure, but they're not really horrible. They're not that bad. Like I said, it's not a show car kind of thing. It looks like whatever they used to clean them off kind of stayed on it and left a residue. I don't know if you kind of see that splatter that hopefully will clean off. And those little lines and stuff go through on the top. Now, these do come unpainted inside the fins, which I'm okay with because I can color match that to the engine. Now inside, it's pretty clean. These ridges look all right. The baffles, I'm not a fan of this style. So as you can see, other than the logo here, these are basically the same valve cover. Now one thing I'm gonna go ahead and point out, starting to tape it off so I can paint inside there real easy. That came out. It's not even really even glued in hardly. So I'm going to have to get some super glue after I get done with this. And probably pop them all out, put some super glue in them because there is no adhesive or anything holding them in. They're just kind of pushed in. Alright, so installing the baffles. One would think you need to be careful in order to not strip out the aluminum when tighten down the screws. But in reality, the little screws they provide apparently snap before the aluminum strips. Now they are installed. The holes were kind of a little tricky to line up because they didn't really line up with the Felpro gasket too well, unfortunately. So I had to do a little bit there to get them line up just right. Other than that, so far so good. I've been letting it run for about five minutes now. So far I haven't seen a leak anywhere around any of it. I have been, I did use some ultra black silicone around the corners that way at least it would seal so what I'm gonna do is give it three weeks from today I daily drive this so 
we'll see how well it does if it starts to leak after all that it shouldn't leak at all it should be pretty well sealed and good so there shouldn't be any issues but we'll check back in about three weeks all right so here it is three weeks later daily driving rain cold whatever because it's been winter no leaks happy there and yes I did use a little bit of black RTV silicone in the corners just as a precaution I do this all valve covers but the point is they're not leaking so they're sealing that's great they look decent especially with it painted here and polished on top but would I buy another set for the price I paid? No. The only reason I decided to keep them was for the simple fact that I figured I might as well do a review on them. And I already had them and the other valve cover was cracked and busted. So, went ahead, went this route to see what would happen. They do seal, not leaking. But, that quality kind of gets me. And yes, I did super glue each one of these little fake bolts down because they were all loose. So quality is not there. I don't feel like they're worth the money they're asking for them. But on, on the engine right here, you don't really see all those flaws. But knowing that they're there and what I paid for them, don't much care for. If they was a bit cheaper... I'd be more inclined to like them a little bit more, but not for that price. And I hope you liked this review. Hope it helped you out. As always, thanks for watching.